एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर लैब एक्टिविटी वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ परसेंटेज मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इन ए कोल सैम्पल दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज गिवन इन द बी टेक फर्स्ट ईयर इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री सिलेबस ऑफ उत्तराखंड टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट आर गिवन इन दियर सिलेबस सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल थ्री वन बाय वन so here we are going to discuss the determination of percentage moisture content in the coal sample so why it is important so in order to assess the quality of coal and to decide its calorific value two type of analysis are carried out one is proximate analysis and the other one is ultimate analysis under the category of proximate analysis we need to carry out the experiments related to the moisture content volatile matter ash and these are on the percentage scale so these three are determined experimentally and the fixed carbon is also determined there but this is determined by subtracting these three matters from the 100th scale like 100 minus all three however in ultimate analysis we are going to determine experimentally carbon content hydrogen nitrogen sulfur and ash and uh, these are all are determined on the percentage scale and here oxygen is determined by subtracting these five from 100 so in this manner these proximate and ultimate analysis has to be carried out for the coal sample to determine its quality and its calorific value so in, in their syllabus proximate analysis is given in which moisture content volatile content and ash content is determined experimentally one by one in three experiments so we are going to discuss the first one moisture content so here i have given the procedure how to determine the moisture content and here uh, i'll just show you the lab activity so lab activity related to determination of percentage moisture content in the coal sample so here is the coal it is crushed in the mortar pestle and then it is sieved and i place this in the reagent bottle here is the coal sample now weighing the petri dish and this weight is determined or mentioned in the table and we are going to weigh 1 gram of coal sample here you may have a question why i didn't tear so i didn't tear because i need to weigh this petri dish again after heating so that time it won't help me so that is why i didn't tear it so this is 1 gram coal sample taken in the petri dish here is the hot air oven its temperature is set at 105 to 110 degree centigrade and in this preheated oven i'll just going to keep my petri dish with coal sample we leave it for half an hour now we will allow it to cool for half an hour again after switch off the hot air oven and now we will keep it in the desiccator and then we are going to measure the weight again so here i am now having the weight of petri dish with coal sample so that is why i didn't tear in the previous one now we are going to measure the percentage so here are the readings this i will explain in the text so this is the percentage of coal sample so here what you have seen is written over here about 1 gram finally powdered air dried coal sample is weighed in a crucible the crucible is placed inside the hot air oven which is maintained at 105 to 110 degree centigrade the crucible is allowed to remain in a oven for half an hour and then taken out with the help of pair of tongs and then cooled it and then placed in the desiccator and weighed the loss and weighed the loss in the weight is reported as moisture so how we are going to take the values so here the observation table 
in the observation table what you have observed in the experiment so weight of the dry crucible which is this much in this experiment which you have seen earlier the weight of the crucible plus coal sample before heating that was 31.020 grams and weight of the crucible plus coal sample after heating so that is 30.966 this is lesser why it is lesser because some volatile material is escaped out of that coal sample now how we are going to measure the values so here uh, two things we need to calculate weight of the coal sample taken so that is how much weight you have taken for the coal sample so coal sample plus weight of the crucible if you subtract the weight of the crucible out of this weight then you will get the weight of the coal sample that is why i have written b and a so b minus a will gives you weight of the coal sample taken now b since b is more it is before heating and if this is after heating c and since some volatile material is escaped out of this so it has lesser weight so how much weight is left there or how much weight is escaped so b minus c we are having the loss in the weight so this is how we are going to determine these two values and now these values are going to be kept here as loss in the weight so how much loss in the weight is this much weight of the coal sample taken into 100 so i have written all these values here this is 0 0.054 grams loss in weight divided by weight of the coal sample multiplied by 100 and i got 5.38% of moisture it means our sample is dry enough the next thing what is the importance of doing this experiment so importance of doing this experiment is that in this way moisture in the coal evaporates during the burning of the coal and it takes some of the liberated heat in the form of latent heat of evaporation latent heat means when water is converted into vapors 583 kilo calories per mole latent heat so that much heat is taken away by due to this moisture which is present in the coal sample so that is that doesn't give us the actual fuel value of the coal as well as moisture lowers the effective calorific value of the coal therefore lesser is the moisture content better is the quality of the coal as a fuel but there is one advantage of coal because the presence of moisture up to 10 percent produces a more uniform fuel bed and less amount of fly ashes produced the overall inference which we have made out of this experiment is that lesser is the moisture content better is the fuel value of the coal if you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up and for more videos you can write me in the comment section thank you all thanks for watching